Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to enable and add pause screens inside of LaunchBox and Big Box. So what I've got going right now is some Battletoads. I could always pause the game itself, or I could use the pause feature built into the emulator I'm using. But with the premium versions of LaunchBox and Big Box, we do have pause themes or pause screens built in. This just makes it a lot more pleasant to look at when your game is paused. Plus, we have some features built in, like you can view your retro arch achievements from here. We can reset the game, we can save the game, load the game, and we can exit directly from here. So the pause theme I'm using right now is not the default pause theme. I'm going to show you how to add these. This is actually called Big Fade by Retro808 over on the forum. We've got a bunch to choose from, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set these up. But keep in mind, this is a premium feature, so you will need a premium license in order for this to work. Alright, so if you like the look and the idea of pause screens and launch box and big box, let's go ahead and get this set up. So the first thing we're going to tackle here is setting up pause themes inside of launch box, and once we're done with that, we'll move over to big box and I'll show you how to do the same exact thing there. From launch box, we're going to go to the drop down menu, we're going to find tools, options. From here, the very first thing we need to do is scroll down to the bottom, and what we're going to find is Game Pause. So we need to make sure that this is enabled. Use Game Pause screen. We have the default theme here, and I'll show you in a second where we can get some new themes from. Our pause key can also be programmed directly from here. Now what I do is usually set this key up with one of my keyboard hotkeys. We can also do this with our controller. But from here, I usually just choose an option. I'm just going to go with U. So when I press U on my keyboard, just kind of a backup option to get into my pause screen. Next, we're going to go to our game controllers. Obviously, you will need your game controller enabled from here, and I'm using an Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth. Once we have that enabled, we're going to head down to Mappings. And from here, we do have a section for Show Pause Screen. And this can be set up with a combination of hotkeys. So I'm going to go ahead and clear it out, and I'll choose Add. For my controller, I usually choose a two-button combination, like L1 and R1. So I'll just press those together. Button 6, button 5, which is my L1 and R1 on my Xbox controller. So now I have it set up where I could use my keyboard to enter my pause screen. I can also use my controller to enter my pause screen. So we've mapped the controller. We've got the controller enabled. We've got our game pause screens enabled, and we've also set up a pause key from our keyboard. So I'm going to choose OK, and we're still here with the default theme. So if I go into, let's say, Alien 3, we'll go ahead and start this up. Give it a second to load in. And for this, I'm using RetroArch. So I've got the game running right now. If I want to enter my launch box and big box pause screen, I can use my controller hotkeys that I just set up. So we're now in the pause screen. We can resume the game, view achievements if there's any available with RetroArch achievements, reset game, save state, load state, and we can exit game. So if I resume the game and I'm just using a keyboard, I can press that hotkey I mapped for my keyboard, which was U. So now we've got our pause screen set up with launch box, but you might want to change the look of these. So now what I'm going to do is show you where we can download some awesome new pause themes for launch box and big box. So if we head over to the LaunchBox forums, we can actually download some new pause themes. And I'll leave a link in the description of this video to exactly where we can get these. We've got a bunch to choose from, but for this video, I'm going to go with Farron's Pause Shift 1.0. So I'll we'll go ahead and download this. And I'm also going to go with Retro 808's Big Fade. We'll go ahead and download this also. And once those are finished downloading, I'm going to head over to my Downloads folder. We've got those two new themes here. They are zipped up. And on the right hand side, I've got my LaunchBox directory, which just happens to be on a separate drive. But if you're new to LaunchBox and you've just installed it in the default directory, it'll be in your C drive, users, username, LaunchBox. From here, we need to find pause themes. This is the folder we're looking for. And if you see, we've only got one default theme in here so far. We need to go ahead and extract the new themes we downloaded. So I use WinRAR. I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract here. One thing to keep an eye out for when extracting these themes is you don't want to extract it into another archive folder. So using WinRAR, I just chose extract here. We have the big fade folder. If I open it up, 
We've got our fonts, images, and our default XAML. So this is good to go. We're going to do the same with pause shift. Right click, extract here, and I just want to double check on it. You just don't want it to be in another archived folder. So we've got our two new pause themes. We're just going to place them right over here in our LaunchBox pause themes folder. Now let's go ahead and move back over to LaunchBox. We're going to swap out that default pause theme for a new one. So use the drop down, tools, options, and again, we're going to scroll all the way down, game pause, and we can change it from here. I'm going to go with Farron's pause shift theme. So we'll choose this, press OK. And now we've got that new pause theme enabled. Let's go ahead and start up a game. Give it a second to load in. And here it is. This is the pause shift theme from Farron. And personally, I think it's super clean. I really like it. Got that little logo in the lower left hand corner. And we have all the options we need here. View achievements, reset game, we can save, we can load, and we can exit. So now that we've got our pause theme set up with LaunchBox, let's go ahead and move over to Big Box, and I'll show you how to get it all set up there. We've already downloaded a couple and placed them in the correct location, and we can use those that we've already set up inside of Big Box. All right, so here I am with Big Box. I'm just using the default theme to make it a little easier on everybody. From Big Box, we need to head over to our Options menu. We can press Escape on our keyboard. Now it's a bit different enabling these pause themes inside a big box, but it's still pretty simple. The first thing we need to do is enable the pause screens in big box. So we're going to go to options. We're going to scroll all the way down until we see game pause. And from here, enable pause screen. Our theme can be set directly from here. So we've got big fade. I've got the default and pause shift. I'm going to go with big fade. You can set it up however you'd like. You can leave enable fading on and mute audio during transitions. I usually just leave all of this checked and it works out really well. So we're going to back up here. Now we need to set up our keyboard and controller to get to those pause screens. First thing we need to do is head down to our options. We're going to scroll down to keyboard automation. Make sure keyboard automation is enabled. So we have our hold key, which I've already set up as D. And in order for me to show my pause screen, I need to hold D and press Y. That's how I have it set up here. You can set this up basically any way you'd like. Now this will allow us to do it using keyboard automation. So we have to hold that hold key in order to get in here, but we can also just go into keyboard mappings. And from here, we can go all the way down to the bottom and show pause screen. So we can set this up as a single key. I just set it up as U, like I have it set up in LaunchBox. So we've now got our keyboard set up to allow us to enter our pause themes. Let's go ahead and set up our controller. From here, I always enable game controllers, use all controllers. And for my controller mappings, we're going to find that show pause screen. Again, it's close to the bottom. So I don't have it set up yet with my controller. If we press enter on our keyboard or A on our controller, it's going to bring up a little menu and tell us exactly how to set this up with a hotkey. With LaunchBox, I have it set up on my controller, so I press two keys and it'll bring me to that pause screen. I'm going to do the same thing here. And in order to do this, we're going to hold the first key we're going to be using, and then we're going to press the second key. It's going to set it up with that hotkey combination. So now when I press LB and RB at the same time, while I'm running a game with Big Box, it's going to bring me to that pause theme. So I'm just going to head into my Genesis section and find a game to play. Yeah, we'll just go with Altered Beast, one of my favorite games. And while I'm playing a game, in Big Box, I can go to my pause screen at any time. It definitely adds a lot to this front end. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Like I mentioned, I will leave a link in the description to the forum where we can download new pause themes. Uh, there's a bunch to choose from there. And personally, I've just kind of gone through and pick and chose about 10 different ones. I can swap them out on the fly. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.